All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We know Allah's name, Al-Hafiz, the Guardian. What do we understand it means? We understand that Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was thrown into fire. But fire didn't burn him because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Hafiz. The Prophet Yusuf, peace be upon him, was thrown in a well and in jail and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved him because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Hafiz. But how does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us every moment? Imagine if we woke up and found ourselves unable to hear or see, how will our life be? We will lose the ability to understand this world if we lost our hearing and our sight. We would live in darkness and isolation, and the silence of life would stifle us. Now we can understand why Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us to pray in the morning and evening, saying, O oh Allah, save our hearing. O oh Allah, save our sight. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أرأيتم إن أخذ الله سمعكم وأبصاركم وختم على قلوبكم من إله غير الله يأتيكم به انظر كيف نصرف الآيات ثم هم يصدفون We hear and look at what is forbidden Allah is able to take our hearing and sight immediately but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves our sight and hearing because he is Al-Hafiz. We must repent. May Allah forgive us. We remember the usefulness of car brakes, the benefit of the protective airbags, and the benefit of the seat belts. But we forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We forget the one who saves us. And if he didn't save us, we would have dead. No seat belt, speed brakes, or protective airbag could do anything. If you feel that your life is in danger, the disease is threatening your health, or your child has distanced away from you, you fear he may go astray or have bad company, or that the money you have collected has come close to wasting and spoiling, know that among the holy names of your Almighty Lord is the name of Al-Hafiz the guardian, and that the time has come to think about and reflect on it. He is the only one who saves your life, health, children, possessions, and everything in this life. So we always say, O oh Allah, saves us from between our hands, from behind us, from our right side, from our left side, and from above us, and seek refuge in your greatness that we may be assassinated from beneath us. We ask for Allah's protection from all six sides. We ask him to save us from all sides. And no one can do that but him only. May Allah guide us all on the straight path and prevent us from departing it. May he protect us from misguidance and evil temptation. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.